What did it feel like to notice the rising of, so to say, your former band from the distance to witness their success in medias and in the charts also in Finland? Uh, I really stopped following the music scene at the point when I retired from the band. Uh, frankly, I, I really couldn't uh, couldn't listen to the radio or watch, watch TV in case there would be a sense of song or, the, or something going on. But uh, eventually when I started uh, making music again after that, uh, it really didn't have any effect on me. Music is music. This sounds like you did not keep very close contact to the rest of the band members for a certain time. Well, yeah. Of course, uh, not many people know this, but Mika is my second cousin. And, uh, well, with Sami we at some point studied together at the university and, and so on. So we came, uh, kept in touch every now and then, so to speak, but uh, never discussing music or anything like that. It's just uh, lately that I finally found the peace and came to terms with the fact that I left the band, because it was really quite an important issue in my life anyway. Did you ever regret this choice? No, never regret, but uh, it's just one of those difficult decisions that one has to make in, in, during his lifetime. A bit like a divorce, maybe. <laughs> Not very much. Would you say that it has been the best option for both parties, for you and for the band? Well, obviously, it was inevitable at, at that point. The, the musical aspirations of the rest of the guys were, I wouldn't say completely opposite, but uh, after the Love and Death EP, we started to go into very different directions in uh, songwriting as well, and I couldn't possibly uh, picture myself uh, all the albums that the guys released after my departure. Within your era, being part of the band, you have just been a four-piece, with you having bass duties also, besides vocals. Uh, did you ever feel like um, some sort of stranger in a band, because uh, there was this um, core formation, there was this backbone of the band, of uh, the three founding members that are still present? Well, no. Well, during the first couple of months, perhaps. <laughs> we just went straight to the studio to record the first album uh, after I joined. So basically they had the record deal, or the so-called record re deal ready with the trash records and so on. I was 16 years old and was asked to be to play on a record. What the hell? I felt a bit like an outsider, so that I didn't uh, participate in the songwriting and so on. But after that, it was... Uh, Especially after I took, uh, took the vocals, when Mika didn't want to continue growling anymore, uh, it became pretty much an extension of my personality, as well as the guys' collective input. If the band was ever about to cancel a show within the last years, would you have been able to step in for Villa, for example, if he was injured or so? No. It was really hard work for you to recall the lyrics, for example, for the songs that you're performing right now with them? Well, no, it's a, it's strange, just strange thing and a strange feeling that they, although I haven't listened to these uh, songs, I haven't to really recall them during this past decade that I've been away from the band. It all just comes out naturally and feels really fucking good. As a matter of fact, especially the Amok era songs, though those are they're somewhere in the backbone. So once you said that you do not like your vocal performance on the albums at all, so but are you still proud of being part of this uh, history of the band? Well, sure, I'm proud of it. It's, uh, being in a band, being a part of something like this, it's never about just about the albums or whatever. It's a very holistic 
experience, at least for me. I joined the band when I was 16, I left it when I was 21. That was uh, my life <laughs> at the time, really. Everything to do with my own personal existence. And I feel proud about it. How natural did it feel for you to join them again, to have uh, the guitarist at your sides and to know Vaser is uh, in the background, is just pushing you? It felt, it felt very natural, surprisingly natural, considering really the time that's been between, between us. And uh, furthermore, there was no nostalgia. It was just a, a genuine, uh, fulfilling performance. Already in the rehearsals, when we went through these songs uh, together, I felt the kind of kick that I had with the... I used to have with Mika. For, most of all with Mika. <laughs> that team spirit kind of thing. <laughs> it felt so natural. It feels good to perform these songs again now for the last time with this lineup and without any sense of nostalgia. It just feels like uh, doing the right thing, playing, playing in a band, basically. <laughs> Would you also like to control your end when it comes to the public, for example? Like a director, or would you prefer to fade away in isolation, just quitting business without uh, being noticed for this? I think what the guys are doing here is a very exceptional kind of ending. I, I don't know if it's been never done before, like a, a conceptual uh, funeral for the band. I think it's great, and I hope that the guys can stick to it, that they will never <laughs> come together again, because they've said it. As for myself, I, when I lose interest in music, there's not much left for me <laughs> at that point. So I, can, I really can't see it happening to myself, in this way at least. I think I'll burn out or fade away, who knows.